there's a reason why Seattle let him walk out the door. And it just wasn't because he was upset. Okay? You know, and I've heard this narrative talking about how, oh, God. <laughs> uh, Russ, you know, ultimate team guy, go Hawks, this and that. Aaron Rodgers, ultimate me guy. And I go, man. The, the, the way they act is one and the same to me. I just think Russell Wilson is a less good Aaron Rodgers, you know. Same amount of Super Bowls, you know. Uh, less MVP votes and um, just as many uh, playoff disappointments, if we're being honest. That's what Russell does in the playoffs, for God's sake. His last playoff game, he got put out in the first round by the Rams and Jared Goff and a backup quarterback. And guess what? We think Jared Goff should be replaced next year. Yeah, that, that Rams team that replaced Jared Goff and inserted Matthew Stafford. Yeah, that same team. Yeah, they beat Russell in the playoffs. He was 12-4 and four that year. Okay. Now, don't forget about, I mean, R Russell Wilson's a diva. He's a diva. You know, he puts on the front that he's a team guy. Go Hawks, go Hawks. Yeah, yeah, go Hawks. Yeah, you know, me and Pete, we're on a great, we're great now. Yeah, doing all right. No, Russ is a cornball brother. RG3 has lost the title as cornball brother, and he get passed it on to Russell Wilson. Let's be real. He had issues with the Legion of Boom. You know, the, the, the stories who came, that came out and said, hey, they tried to uh, make Russell Wilson that the MVP of that Super Bowl. That's why they threw the Malcolm Butler pick. Guess what? If you don't throw that pick to Malcolm Butler and we maybe get a one-yard touchdown uh, from Marshawn Lynch, Maybe that's a back-to-back -back Super Bowl. Maybe we think about you differently, Russell Wilson. Maybe Tom Brady leaves New England earlier, you know, because that's three Super Bowl losses in a row. Maybe the the gang gets back together, and there's not all this 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 clashing between offense and defense. But guess what? No, Russell was the golden boy. Everybody liked him. He says the right things. Nice smile. Very diplomatic. Has a great relationship with the commissioner. Yeah, we got in Russ we trust. Now, a lot of y'all trust in crypto. Crypto's getting killed right now. But in Russ we trust. Yeah, when it's high, it's high. But Jesus Christ. <sighs> Can you get back? I don't know. Russ goes as the defense goes. But he had his issues with the Legion of Boom. Richard Sherman called him out. Other members of that defense called him out. And that team was never the same after that Super Bowl loss. Then a few years later, he floats out. Uh, well, last year, last offseason, his agent, not him. He didn't do it. It was his agent. You know, his agent does not speak for him unless he's negotiating a contract. But if he's talking about teams to come pick him up, oh, no, the agent just went off the rails. If the Seahawks trade me, go Hawks. I want to go to these teams, but go Hawks. All right, man. And he gave out his four teams. Go Hawks. Then during the season, you know, he, break, he breaks his thumb, whatever, and he, and he has the – he does damn near a documentary on his return back to the field. Puts out the story. Oh, Russ rehabs 19 hours a day. Yeah, I bet he does. I bet he rehabs 19 hours a day. But it was all about him. You see him on the field going through his pregame routine. Bro, you're not playing. What are you doing? Making it about you. Putting the, the spotlight on you. So all I'm saying is if you are going to give – Aaron Rodgers' grief for making it about him, for, for dragging the Packers through the mud, for, for making them wait and sit on pins and needles only to come back and resign because you want more money. I want you to give Russ the same smoke. That's all I'm asking you to do. Just be fair and consistent with your criticism because Aaron and Russell let us down in the playoffs every single year since their Super Bowl seasons. They have. They got to, uh, Aaron got to one. Russ has been to two. But after Russ lost that Super Bowl, have you ever just watched a, a Seahawks playoff run and go, you know what? They're gonna they're geared up for another run. No, we haven't. We're blaming Pete Carroll and the offense that he wants to run for the lack of success by Russell Wilson. Maybe Pete knows something that we don't. Maybe Pete 
is an accomplished football coach, a Hall of Fame co football coach, a Hall of Fame NFL coach, a Hall of Fame college coach. Maybe Pete knows more than we do. Maybe. Maybe Pete sees him every day and goes, you know what? I like it, but I don't love it. You know, maybe. That's all I'm saying. Maybe, you know, there's a little bit, like, like uh, what's his name? Mark Schlaer said, don't let Russ cook, let Russ simmer. Maybe we should just let him simmer. Maybe that's the best Russell Wilson we're going to get because we're forcing let Russ cook. And all I've seen Russ, the last two seasons I've let see, I've seen Russ cook, he goes 12-4, and four, wins the division, loses in the first round. Then the next year he misses the playoffs and has his first losing season in 10 years. Maybe there was a reason that NC State said, yeah, you can go to Wisconsin. Now, they were, they were wrong. But maybe they're seeing some of the things that Pete Carroll saw. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, don't point the fingers at Aaron Rodgers as being a diva. Don't take that left finger and point at Aaron Rodgers as being a diva if you're not going to take your right one and point it at Russell Wilson. We fall in big babies.